A Vice President Kamala Harris skipping out on day two of the DNC to hold a campaign event hours away in Milwaukee. But back in Chicago, former President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama closing out convention night. They did not hold back their feelings about former President Trump. Watch. It's his same old con. It's his same old con. Doubling down on ugly, misogynistic, racist lies as a substitute for real ideas and solutions that will actually make people's lives better. I heard someone compare Trump to the neighbor who keeps running his leaf blower outside your window every minute of every day. From a neighbor, that's exhausting. From a president, it's just dangerous. Trump 2024 campaign senior advisor Danielle Alvarez joins me now. Danielle, what's the campaign's response to a former president and first lady using their convention speech to attack a fellow former president, your boss, Donald Trump? I mean, it was absolutely unhinged. Even Kamala Harris couldn't stand to be in Chicago uh, and listen to those lies. That's why she was elsewhere instead of at her own convention. And you can only spew those untrue attacks because you can't talk about Kamala's winning record or Biden's winning record. You know, they would try, but immediately they'd pivot to, well, gosh, the economy is still terrible. We need uh, more housing that's affordable. We need to bring down grocery prices. And that's the reality of what Americans are facing. Kamala Harris is currently in office and currently failing. There is no day one for Kamala because she does not deserve the promotion she is looking for. Americans were tired of last night. I mean, I'll be honest, I didn't want to end my night uh, with Barack Obama at the DNC, but I sure am grateful to start my morning with y'all on Fox and uh, America is ready to vote for President Trump and retire that awful rhetoric, retire those failures, that weakness of Kamala Harris and go back to President Trump strength and success for the American people. Such kind words about our program. I just saw Carly cover her and make a heart thing. That was so nice, like Justin Bieber. Uh, meantime, there is other news. Got to get your opinion on this. RFK Jr.'s running mate suggesting the ticket may drop out of the race soon to support former President Trump and prevent a Kamala Harris presidency. Listen to this from last night. I have to say there's only one party that has obstructed fair, an, a fair election for us. And unfortunately, it was the Democratic Party. They've mm -hmm. done everything they can, including creating PACs to prevent us from being able to have ballot access. This idea of a unity party, an idea of us coming around these principles of fighting for liberty in this country, fighting for our children's health, we are willing to work with anyone who is sincere in their endeavor to fix and address this issue. You are part of the campaign. You know what's going on behind the scenes. Will RFK Jr. be joining forces with Donald J. Trump to defeat Kamala Harris? Well, I'll echo the words of the president yesterday. You know, he's brought together a very broad coalition of support. Again, it's because of his record of success in the White House. And he said he'd be open to such an endorsement if it existed. Again, President Trump is bringing together Americans from all walks of life because he can deliver on those core issues that they care about, whether it's the economy, whether it's closing the border, whether it's bringing peace through strength at home and abroad. It's just something that Kamala Harris has not been able to deliver on while she's been in the White House for the last three and a half years. And you heard their ticket say it themselves. They are not the party of democracy. They have tried to keep folks off the ballot. They have tried to uh, weaponize the DOJ system, and they are certainly spewing falsehoods and lies to try to remain in power. It's an absolute disgrace. This entire week has been absolutely unhinged and in stark contrast to the Republican National Convention, where President Trump was there every night, where we highlighted everyday Americans and we highlighted those issues most important to them. That's what we're going to keep this election about, uh, because that is what President Donald J. Trump is fighting for. I'll take that as a maybe. Danielle Alvarez, thank you for your time this morning. We appreciate it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.